type. An amplifier composed of two common uh, source stages is given. The key component values are annotated. The arrow of the source terminal of transistor M1 is not shown on purpose. You need to figure out where it is. This is very easy. You can find uh, all the reasoning in my previous videos. But because the first stage is given that it is a uh, common source stage, therefore the output should be taken from the drain and the common node for the input and the output is the source, hence common source stage. So the arrow is here. Um, using the Miller approximation, find the approximate frequency of the pole formed at the gate of two. So this, this pole, this is the, you know, from basic knowledge, we know that this, is, this pole is expected to be the lowest frequency pole. Why? Because there is a very strong Miller effect here for this capacitance Seagate uh, drain. But uh, let's approach uh, uh, this. Uh, which of the given choices is the closest to your approximation choices are given? So the time constant associated uh, with the gate of M2 is certain equivalent uh, resistance times certain equivalent capacitance. So the easiest thing is to find what is the equivalent uh, resistance. Now, let's see. If we look at this side, we will see infinite resistance because this is the gate of M2. If we see in this side, we will see here uh, infinite uh, resistance because this is ideal current source. So the only resistance that will determine the total resistance at this node will be the drain resistance of this guy. So, and this is the output resistance. So this will be the output resistance of transistor 1. What is this? So this will be the early voltage divided by the current and the early voltage is 10 volt divided by the current is 0 0.1 and this gives me uh, 100 kilo ohm great so i have the equivalent resistance now i need to calculate the equivalent capacitance let's observe all the capacitance which are connected to this node of course i have the C uh, gate source of M2 and I have here C gate drain of M2. Careful with this capacitance, this is the Miller capacitance. Now what I have here further is drain book C uh, gate uh, C C drain book this one and I have drain gate we can be a little bit careful with this because this is inverse Miller capacitance. So it's equivalent value, it's not exactly this value, but it is one time, so the, this value will be multiplied by a coefficient, which is one plus one divided by the gain. If uh, the gain of common source uh, stage is high, one divided by this high gain is uh, something very smaller than one. We can approximate one, but I'll, I'll, I'll mention it again. Now, so for the equivalent capacitance, then we have uh, two capacitances which are directly connected to ground. This is the drain bulk capacitance of M1, C drain bulk uh, of, of 1, so this capacitance, this is directly connected to ground, and the gate source capacitance, which is also connected to ground because it's connected to VDD, and for small signal analysis, we will connect VDD, VDD is actually small signal ground. Now, and then I have, uh, so Seagate source two. And then I have two more capacitors. So let's start with this Seagate drain one. And now I have to multiply it by one divided by uh, the inverse Miller, where A1 is the gain of the first stage. Now this is very small number because A1 is a big number. So definitely uh, uh, one, is much bigger than one over a1 so this means that basically i can i can simply ignore this and just consider c gate drain and now this is the this is the main point this is c gate drain 2 and now we have the miller effect so the miller effect i, I remind you that if we have a signal here and then this signal will be multiplied a lot here by the gain of the second stage so the effective capacitance that you see here to ground will be multiplied uh, by the gain of this stage. And this is the Miller effect. 
what I will have here is 1 plus A2, where A2 is the gain of the second stage. So now, um, what will be this uh, A2? A2, of course, will be GM2, the current, times R out 2. So this, this voltage is transferred through GM to current, and this current is transferred through the output impedance of this node to voltage, as GM2 R out 2. So what is GM2? Uh, GM it, uh, it can be calculated as uh, two times the drain current divided by the V overdrive voltage and R out is VA divided by E drain. This will cancel, so for A2 I get something like um, two times VA 10 volt divided by V overdrive 0.1 and uh, this should be so this is 100 200 all right 200 and now i can calculate at last uh, c equivalent c drain bulk 5 m to 5 plus c gate source 20 m to 5 ah c gate source this one 20 m to 5 plus c gate drain 1 5 m to farad plus C gate drain 5 m to C gate drain 5 m to farad but now times 1 plus 200 and uh, let's uh, see how much is this so I have 30 plus uh, 5 10 Zero five ten thirty five fem to farad. Now I can calculate uh, already the time constant, which will be uh, one hundred kilo ohm times one thirty five fem to farad. Uh, then the pole will be one over tau, and it will be uh, one hundred times 10.35 and then uh, 10 to the power of 12 10 to the power of 6 and here I will have 1 million so this divided by divided by 966 966 or close to 9.7 10 to the power of 6 radians per second which makes this answer correct thank you very much